We're setting up several digital cameras that are shooting every 30 seconds and we're putting them all across this glacier on, on both sides. And what we hope to measure, to document, is the disintegration of this ice shelf behind me that has many cracks and there's a lot of surface melting going on. And we're on a pretty massive block. It stretches back 20 kilometers. And what we're doing here is putting some uh, fancy, fairly elaborate GPS systems on this block, monitoring its movement. So we're looking on a minute by minute basis on what it's doing, how it's moving in relation to the rest of the glacier, and looking for that critical point where it fractures and breaks off. Ocean warming currents are circulating around the fjord here and eroding the underbelly of Peterman Glacier at an incredible rate which is 25 times that of the surface melt. There's been a revelation in the last couple of years in the role that warming oceans play in triggering the enhanced acceleration, breakup and thinning of these outlet glaciers. As temperatures in the Arctic rise, large ice islands are breaking off the end of Peterman Glacier. Really large cracks are forming in the glacier like the one right behind me, and in just a matter of days, an ice island that's 100 square kilometers in size will break off the end of this glacier. Greenland's glaciers are melting faster than scientists are predicting. That's why there's an urgent need for action at the upcoming climate meeting in Copenhagen in December. It's time to stop climate change in its tracks.